question I see a lot in Reddit and other places where people talk about productivity tools is how do I set up recurring tasks? And even more importantly, for me at least, how do I set up recurring tasks with reminders? So that's what we're doing today. Stick around. Okay, so as we're talking about setting up recurring tasks with reminders in Trello, we're going to be talking about the kind of tasks that it's something that you're trying to build a habit, right? So while there are ways to set up kind of recurring tasks that will automatically mark themselves complete, we're going to be doing the kind where you need to manually mark it complete because that is what is helping you build your habit, correct? So let's start with that. So as you can see here, I've got my... uh, business schedule freedom formula. This is something that you can actually grab from me if you want in the description. So um, make sure to look down there if this is something that you could use. But when we're on a page like this, um, we're going to want to go into our automations, which is this teeny tiny little lightning bolt. So we're going to click on automation and then we're going to go to, well, you could do this on a button or rule, um, but let's go ahead and go with rules on this one. So we're going to click rules. And then it's going to open up all of the automations we have set up in our entire account. And what's beautiful about this is that if you set up an automation like this in a bit of a more generic kind of way, then you actually set yourself up to be able to use that same exact automation on multiple boards. So you don't have to set it up more than once. So if you're wanting to track a really specific habit in a certain way, and let's say you're building maybe like a version of my automated habit tracker, which I will link above if you haven't seen that. In that case, you do wanna set up an automation for each individual task. But if we're just talking about things that you do daily, weekly, monthly, then we can do it in a more simplified way so that it's a generic automation. You have fewer automations running, fewer rules running, and it also allows you to, um, you can just enable it on other boards if you create similar lists there. So let me show you what I mean. So um, I had clicked on, I I did it while while I was talking. So I clicked on create automation, And then once we're in here, we need to choose our trigger. And the trigger is going to be, in this case, something that we manually do, right? So um, we're gonna click Add Trigger. And because what what we're gonna use for this is um, a due date being marked complete. Now, like I said, you can set this up to be automated, but we're gonna do this manually. So we're gonna come over here to our Dates option. So you can see if you've never been in automations before, um, you may not have noticed that they have these um, kind of co- common or popular automations already started for you. So we're actually gonna be using one of those because um, it's really standard what we're doing. So when you see here, when the due date is marked complete, you have the option of incomplete or complete, and they have varying um, different use cases why you would want one or the other. But in this case, we're gonna say complete. So now we're gonna get a little bit more customized with what we're doing. And you can do this at any frequency. So I'm gonna show you this at a daily frequency, but you could do this for daily, weekly, monthly. You could even do it weekly on a specific day. Um, But what you wanna do is you wanna go into this filter, click on that, and here's where you get a little bit more, um, you can get a little more granular. So what we're gonna do, because I've created my board to have a list for daily tasks, a list for weekly, and a list for monthly, I can keep it simple and simply say if it's in the list daily tasks recurring, okay, so once I've selected the list, I just hit this little plus sign right here, and you can see how it's now added that filter, and then we don't need to worry about this. You could do this if if you were sharing or collaborating on the board. But in this case, we'll keep it simple and we don't need to touch it at all. It's gonna happen anytime somebody marks it complete. So then we're gonna hit this little blue plus sign and that has created our trigger. So here's where we set up that recurrence. So we're gonna again, go into dates. Now you can see there's a little bit more in here than there was when we were looking at the triggers for dates. So now we can move the due date. So here's where you determine what the frequency is. So we're gonna move that due date, 
and we have a lot of options here. If it's a daily recurring task, you, you have two ways that you could do it actually. You could say by one day, and you can see right here, it, you can literally get as granular as I do this every five minutes, but don't track to that degree, it's gonna make you crazy. So you could do that by, by one day, or, and I tend to do it this way, one of your options is tomorrow, okay? So I change that to tomorrow, and then again, you're gonna hit the little plus sign, and now you can see that this action has been updated to say move the due date to tomorrow, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit this blue plus sign right there. This is going to recur the task, but it's not going to remind you automatically, okay? So keep that in mind. There's another setting that you need to make sure you have enabled in order for you to get reminded. So let's go ahead and hit save. Okay, so we've now set up that daily recurring task. And again, remember that that daily could be weekly, monthly, it could even be every other week if you wanted it to be, okay? But in order to get your reminder notification, whether it's like one of these little notifications up here or on your phone, you wanna make sure that when you set your due date, okay? We come in here, we've got our due date. You wanna make sure that you have set a reminder. This will recur as well if you have set it. So I tend to say at the time of due date, but if you needed like a five minutes warning, depending on what it is, then you could do it by that, 10 minutes and so on, okay? But I tend to do at the time of due date and hit save. And then that ensures that every time this becomes due again, I'm gonna get that reminder, okay? Make sense? If you have any questions at all, if you want to see or need to see this done with um, a different frequency or if there's something unique that you feel like you need to do with your automation that this doesn't cover, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to help you out with that. The online tools for your business do not need to be complicated or overwhelming. It's time to let it be easy.